Credo is the daft of the Football Daft podcast. Is that a good story? Is that a good story? I've got an encyclopedia brain. He's got a damn man nothing. <laughs> Fuck sake. Why are you a fucking hoo? <laughs> this is Football Daft. Sponsored by Glasgow Private Hire. Make booking easier. Download our booking app now on App Store and Google Play. You're a Rangers man. Uh, I'm a Hearts man. <laughs> With you and Cameron. I work for Showtime and ESPN. <laughs> and. Hey, the top end of Stevenson. Grado! Hello and welcome to Football Daft with Ewan and Grado, episode 9. Uh, hello, Grado. Now, we are in to record the podcast, and I, will, I won't lie, we were nice and early this morning. It's just after 10 that we're recording the show, and you're sat there with a can of juice and a pot of beef or sausage stroganoff. No, it's sausage stroganoff. Why? 10 o'clock in the morning. Well, I, 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 I want it a wee bit of soup. Uh, a, what? You sound rough. Well, actually, I'm not rough, mate. Um, they gave me, I've got, I've actually got sausage stroganoff, I've got an eggy ming roll in there, and a, a can of grapefruit. An eggy, kind of grapefruit. an eggy what? Eggy ming. I don't know, that's, my mum always said that for egg mayonnaise, eggy ming. No, then they always use that part, no? no. Eggy ming. You're looking at the producer, he's no. shaking his head. I'm I shaking my head. I don't even know if it's an nursery thing, eggy ming. So, so do you go into, say, a cafe and you go, can I have an eggy ming sandwich and they would know what that is? Uh, no, I've never, I've never actually you said never, it. You've no, never just, asked, it, asked no, for it? No, no, I don't actually usually buy Eggy Ming when I'm out, to be fair. It's usually, <laughs> <laughs> it's not usually a thing I usually ask for. But so, I mean, this is a first of sausage stroganoff. It does feel a wee bit weird eating this this morning, but I had a kind of light. Do you know what I had other night? I had a falafel, a falafel. Falafels are brilliant. Aye, it was all right. Did aye. you have in a pit of bread? Aye. I with some garlic fal- sauce? Fal- falafel would go in hummus. Uh, Did you have garlic with it? Aye, there was garlic and chilli sauce. Some, some, some pickles? pickles. Yeah. Was, there, was there some pickles? Aye, it was quite good, man. Aye. Aye. Is that the first time you'd had a falafel? Aye. Right, okay. It wouldn't be my last. <laughs> You'll be going back from here. Aye. Because, uh, well, you know, Darren Connell, he's lost, like, for Scott Scott, he's lost a power of it. I he's cannot been, believe he's been vegan. Well, I was, I was going to say, actually, have you lost some weight? Because you're, you're not looking as plump as you were when we first started the podcast. <laughs> well, I mean, I've no, I've not been trying. Uh, I've just tried to be cut, cut back, eating the shite. Um, but and I've been a wee bit more active recently and stuff like that. So, but I've been wrestling a wee bit more as well. But obviously, <laughs> I fucked my knee the other day in the house. So I was going to ask you about that. that. Mm-hmm. Right. You sent me some rather gory pictures. Aye, I fell in the house. Um, <laughs> See, this is, here's here's <laughs> the thing, right? I'm going to have to paint a picture for people listening. You sent me four pictures right. of this wound, and it is a proper deep gash that in your me. leg. And I said, wow. The fuck happened? I thought someone stabbed you or someone had attacked you with like a claw hammer or something. You banged it off a table. Now, I've banged my knee off a table on numerous occasions. I get a wee bruise. Right. If I stub my toe on the table, I have a wee bit of pain for a couple of minutes. Not you, Grado. You need to go to the hospital for banging your knee into a table. I was see nicking, but it was, I saw it. It was, it was a still, gash. It happened 40 years ago and there's still blood coming for it. I saw an e for four hours. I've done x rays. I done they did every, an x-ray for done an cut. x-ray, aye. What a waste of time. I come out with a fucking plaster. <laughs> I come out with a plaster. Devastate it. I mean, I thought, all right, man, get us x-ray. It might be a wee, a wee crack somewhere or something like that. But no. So you sat Raging. for four hours, you went for an x-ray, and they gave you a plaster. They gave me a plaster. You could have just done that in your house. I know, I can. I know. Did, I, did you not get stitches for it? Because it looked like you no, needed stitches. No, because they took the skin off, so there was... Oh, there was too, I know, I ah. So there wasn't enough... There wasn't enough... Skin uh, to bring aye, it together. Aye, I could have done it. So it's an open wound. It's an open wound. It's a flesh wound, she calls it. Oh, no, but it's deep. Very deep. So how long are you going to have to keep the dressing on? For, well, uh, Show me. No, I can't because it's too sear. Why is it really sear, right? It is sear, don't get me wrong. Last night, uh, it was very uncomfortable. Did you watch Love Island last night, no? So, I'm sorry. We, we no, because it was fucking good last night. I know it's a football podcast, and i folk going, oh, he's dead man, I'm talking about Love Island, but it was really, really good last night. The guy how Jordan. We, how, wait, wait, how did we get from talking no, about because your... I was because I've got a memory of me sitting in my bed last night, for, feeling sear and watching Love Island. Right, okay. Right, tell me about Love Island. Then. Oh, I mean, it was just great. Uh, the, Jordan, I'm... Jordan, and Anna. Uh-huh. They, again, they were in the bottom. They were, they were in the bottom three folks, so nobody, no many folk like him. He has had his head turned to India, mm-hmm. or what's it called, India, and he's basically made a cunt himself. Uh, and 
Aye. You watch that when you had a sore leg? Aye, and a packet. And a packet of minstrels. A packet of minstrels, a sore leg Mm -hmm. in Love Island. That's how you spent your night last night. Yeah. Right, okay. So um, how long did this, how long was the dressing on for, did you say? Maybe we should change the subject. We back. shouldn't talk about Love Island there because of... It can be edited. Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> you, let's let's find something we can hang away on. Come on. You should keep this in, by the way. We should keep this in. <laughs> Are you embarrassed now to be talking about Love Island? Because you're bringing up every week. Oh, but look at that. Look at that sausage. <laughs> sausage. How random is this sh- start of this show? Mm. I'm lost. I'm completely lost. That's a weird you look. You just put a sausage in your mouth. It didn't look like a sausage. You know what? You know what? What have you been up to this week, mate? What happened to you? What's happened with you? Who you who you been interviewing in your fucking stupid radio show and all that? <laughs> who you had in? Who you had in? <laughs> I'd Gail Porter in. Mate, do you know the weirdest thing I've ever? Uh-huh. I went to see Neil, Noel Gallagher in 2011, right? And I was uh, at the Camden Roundhouse, right? Uh-huh. And Gail Porter's Porter's she's got she's got alopecia, isn't she? And she's got uh, what? Alopecia. Yes. Aye. And so do you know what the weirdest thing I've was? She, there was a, a bald headed woman uh, just standing along for it in Old Gallica. And I went, I think my brother went, that's Gail Porter. And I went, shut up, that's fucking sad. Just cause she's got a bald head. It doesn't mean to say it's Gail Porter. You know what I mean? No every woman yeah. that's not got hair is Gail Porter. Yeah. Um, but it was Gail Porter. <laughs> No, I, on that very same night, I met Colin Murray for BBC. Uh-huh. Uh, I went and peeked through. Uh, I was trying to get in backstage, and I saw Kelly for fucking Stereophonics, what do you call him? He's lovely. Ke- See I, his eyes? Mm, uh, he has the best-looking eyes really? that I've ever seen in a man or a woman. Well, it was him and Paul Weller. So I seen Paul Weller, Gail Porter. Kelly Jones. Kelly Jones. Colin Murray. Colin Murray. And then, after that, we went back to... Amy Winehouse, she's local. Let's see if we could see Amy Winehouse, uh, the kind of boozle she drinks in. But she wasn't there. Was she no deed? She wasn't indeed in 2011, no. She died in 2000, when? 2014. Right. So you uh, went, <laughs> She's so the 28 club. <laughs> this, is, this is the most random opening to a football daft podcast I think that has ever happened. Just when you think it couldn't get any more random, it has. So did you go to find Amy Winehouse with Gail Porter? In Colin Murray, no. you went yourself. No, I mean my brother went. That, oh, was, a, right. that was a that was a cracking couple of days, mate. Right. Because my 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 brother's girlfriend got pneumonia. <laughs> it was meant to be her. It was meant to be gone. But she got pneumonia, so I got the tickets and uh, I went down the street. And you know what? We met this guy in the plane, right? That was a double a Snoop Dogg, right? <laughs> he was a fucking double a Snoop Dogg. He had the braids. He had everything, right? And I was like, there's Snoop Dogg, right? There's Snoop Dogg. And Barbara was like, ah, fuck off, right? Not everybody who has braids is Snoop Dogg. <laughs> right, no, but he literally, right? And see how, I went like that, see halfway through the flight. I went, Joe, look at his trackies. And see his trackies? It had Snoop Dogg all stitched in all the side of his trackies. It wasn't the real Snoop Dogg. He wasn't on the EasyJet flight for fucking Luton to Glasgow, but... <laughs> <laughs> what else has been happening? Um, so I had Gail Porter in the show, and I also had... Oh, I heard it go! It went really good. Right. She's lovely. She's she lovely. Me. Does she kidding me? No, she doesn't know you. I actually spoke about you, but she doesn't know who you are. Gail Porter doesn't have a clue who you are. Fuck's sake. She don't go to tell Also, I've also interviewed still game stars Ford Kieran and Greg Hempel. Aye, they're, 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 they're great guys. They like you, by the way. Aye, aye, aye. Um, they want to do the podcast. Never fucking put me in still game, but did they? <laughs> <laughs> So normally, Grado has a little rant at this juncture, but... Um, <laughs> this juncture? <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> this juncture? <laughs> Mate, you need to stop that shit you're hanging about with me. All these daft words. It's a podcast. It's a fat of podcast. Nobody knows what a juncture is. A juncture, that's where you fucking stop and let other calls get, isn't it? A juncture. Anyway. Uh, see, I, I'm, I'm, I'm educated... I'm self-taught. I didn't. I, I left school when I was 16, Grado. Right? Miss what day? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I didn't go. I didn't. Definitely, if you said you left at seven or something. Like that. <laughs> I, I left at 16. I think. I didn't go to fifth year or sixth year. I oh. left at the end of fourth year. Nobody learns anything right? fifth and sixth year. It's they don't. A, no. it's a, it's a, but do you know what else I did? Right. I walked out with no qualifications. 
But what I did do, Grado, mm -hmm. is that I read, and I read a lot. So I know words that you clearly don't and don't understand. Spell onomatopoeia. Sorry? Spell onomatopoeia. This is meant to be a rant. You know what an onomatopoeia is for a start, aye? You don't even know what a fucking onomatopoeia is, do you? Ha! You should remember it stayed on 18 then, <laughs> Dafty. You don't know what an onomatopoeia, onomatopoeia is. And what, say that again? Onomatopoeia. I don't, like, like, you want to tell me what it is? Aye. So an onomatopoeia is basically like saying, it's like a, a sounding noise. So boom, crash, fud. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Right, yeah. that's that. So you've never heard of that? Nah. And you don't know how to spell it? Nah. No, I do. Spell it. O-N-O-M-A-T-O-P-O-E-I-A. Anyway, you're right. It's not really a rant this week that I want to do. It's it's. To, I'm not angry. I'm disappointed. Um, I have a ten year old son, and his name is Josh, and I've got two older sons who are Liam and Ryan, and they're both nineteen and seventeen. And I gave up on them about six years ago, eat both of them. I gave up on them. What do you mean you gave up on them? I gave up on them because neither of them like football. Oh, right, right? So I tried everything to get them to, to follow the hearts, to love the hearts, to love the atmosphere at Tyne Castle. I bought the season tickets, I bought the strips, I bought the track suits, and they weren't the interested. Aye. My older boy's into rugby, and my middle boy wasn't into sports whatsoever. Right. Right? Did you get into rugby? Is it just through I, the school? It's through the school and everything. But he just, he, and I think because I worked in football and football, Football was my life. I'd watch it all the time. So I think I forced it down their throats. Aye. And I think I turned them off Aye. from watching football. So what I did with Josh, who's 10, is I, I took a step back. And I didn't force the game onto him. I didn't want to make the same mistakes that I made with my own, with my two older boys. Aye. So what I did with Josh, I took a step back. And I wanted him to find what he liked, okay? So... He liked football. Right. He was kicking my football around the park with his pals. He was getting involved in the football at school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dancer. Should I take him to a hearts game? Took him to a hearts game. Bought him the hearts scarf. Bought him the, 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 the hearts top. Everything was swimming. Everything was great. Yeah, dancer. Might have a wee hearts boy here. He's the one that's going to bring balance to the Cameron household. Right. He's going to be the one that's going to follow in dad's footsteps. He's going to be a hearts man, a football man. I could imagine me and him sat on the sofa, watching Sky Sports, watching football, celebrating together, drinking together, going to the games together, having a fish supper after the game in the train, all that kind of uh, thing. And then he tells me, Dad, I don't want to support hearts. Was this recently? Yeah. I want to support Celtic. <laughs> My 10-year-old son is walking away from Hearts to back Celtic, to support Celtic. And you know why? Because his pals at school are Celtic fans. So I'm losing my son to Celtic. You have failed as a father. <laughs> <laughs> Me, I failed with my older two who don't like football at all. Uh. So I took the opposite decision with my younger son to let him find it for himself. He's found football... But you like Celtic. So... What do you do? <sighs> I mean, I... I what I, do I I'm do? Only, by the way, I'm only saying you're a failed as a failure because, come on, you need to have your boy to support the same team. You know what I mean? I know, uh, but I can, What? How? What the fuck are you what done? Do? What are you done? No, what, what do I do? What is it that I do? So what, what game did you take him to? What Hearts game did you take him to? I took him to the, the game against Dunfermline. It was last year when we lost. <laughs> 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 and they uh, went to a couple other games right. during the season. Uh, there were some like big games, pre big premiership games. So, but you know what you're going to need today, you You're going to need to take him to Parhead. Wait, is he? He's ten. Uh, you're going to need to take him. Mate. He's already been with his pals. Right, I know, but you're going to need to go. No, why am I not? Going to, I'm not going to Parkhead. <laughs> I'm not taking my son to put what with a Celtic scarf and all that round his neck. Oh, neck. mate, you need to. Eat. <laughs> it's not happening. So, what's going to happen when Hearts play Celtic? This is going to be. Next year, you need to, you're gonna go and sit in the the, the hay man. You got maybe try and go and get my ticket for for the Celtic end, or are you, are you just waiting your horns wheel no, completely? I think it's a phase he's going through, and I think <laughs> and I think I think he needs to change his friends. So what I'm doing right now is I'm bad mouthing his friends in front of him. So <laughs> round the dinner uh, table, they're wee dicks. <laughs> <laughs> See your pals. <laughs> You can, do, bags. you can do better than that one, <laughs> man. <laughs> you can do better than me, man. 
It's the Football Daft Podcast with Ewan and Grado, sponsored by Glasgow Private Hire. Still to come, who are you? With a very special guest who's going to be in the studio. Grado will be blindfolded. He needs to identify who it is. And you should know who this one is. Okay. Your track record so far isn't particularly good, but I've got a funny feeling you'll guess who this mystery guest is. Perfect. We've also got live on FaceTime from his house in Salt Coats. All right. Kilmarnock superfan, Gordon Soares. <laughs> Gordon Soares, who is why. who is famous yes. um, around Scotland for his rants, his very famous rants that get hundreds of thousands of views. He's on the show today, live from his house. And I can't wait. So Personally, I've wanted to get him on this podcast for the, for the get-go. So We've got him. It's an honour. We've got him, it's so he, he's coming up. Perfect. Uh, but before any of that... Glasgow Private Hire. That's your sponsors. They, they sponsor the show. Yes. That's what they do. And we love Glasgow Private Hire for sponsoring the show because without Glasgow Private Hire and your support, we don't have a show. No. Nah. So um, our thanks to Billy. And, and to, Stevie. And Stevie. And the reason that you like to thank them is because... They pay my wages. It's not just that. <laughs> Why is it you like Billy and Stevie? Because I got to sit at a box in Ibrox. <laughs> <laughs> and you got hospitality. Bro- ah, and Aye. I basically had a personal butler. So, um, so what you're saying, Grado, is that you only like them because you might get invited back to hospitality at Ibrox next season. It's not the only reason, but it's one major factor in my love for these two guys. <laughs> it's not the fact that they have a, a great taxi company. Was it? The- oh, I a taxi. Aye, aye. No, they've got. A- Oh, fucking taxis? Oh, it's you the need only- a taxi. These are the guys. And what is that? It's a f- app. <laughs> you can get your taxis. Hey, what do you want to say about the number? Do it, do it in your radio voice. Guys, if you're looking for a, a private hire, then this, then look no further. It's the Football Daft, sponsored by Glasgow Private Hire, and the number, in case you'll forget it, is 0141 774 3000. I repeat, that's 0141 774 3000. Ewan. And if you and if you if you don't have a phone at hand, uh, uh, who's not got phones? <laughs> How the fuck are you gonna get them if you don't got a phone? Nah, he's not. He's not telepathic, mate. <laughs> what do you call they fucking? Is it a stork? You put a message in their fucking in their throats. And nah, then I, mean, they, I, I made an arse of myself ah, there. Right, I did that. So so if you've got a phone but you can't phone them, you could always use their what. App. Yeah, and mm-hmm. where can you get the app, Grado? Do it in your radio voice. You can get the app now on the Google Play or the App Store. It's available now. Uh, download. <laughs> Hand it back to me. <laughs> no. What? No. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, can do- <laughs> you can download it on the App Store now or Google Play Store. Back to you, Ewan. Thank you, Grado. It's the Football Daft Podcast with Ewan and Grado, and it's one of my favourite features of the show. It's Who Are You, where we get a very special guest into the studio. We then blindfold Grado, we bring him into the studio, and then he has to guess who the mystery guest is. It's that simple. And today we've got the current Miss Scotland in the studio. Her name is Karen. Hello, Karen. Hi. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing well. How are you doing? I'm very good. <laughs> you are Miss Scotland. Yep. When did you, when were you crowned Miss Scotland? Uh, last month, the 8th of June. So it's very new still. Finding my feet for sure. But ha- yeah. Has it sunk in yet that you, Karen, are Miss Scotland? Sometimes. Like I forget a lot of the time. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, oh, I'm in Scotland. <laughs> like, and yeah, it's, it's amazing, but it's very daunting because I'm representing Scotland and Miss World in November. <gasps> yeah, I know. I'm like, really? You guys are trusting me to, <laughs> you know, be there on behalf of the whole country. But, you know, just take it as it comes. And, and where, where's, where, where's Miss World happening? London. Oh, normally, some, normally somewhere like in the in Bali yeah, or... Yeah, no, we were promised Thailand. So I went a month thinking that we were going to be going to Thailand for four weeks, all the expenses paid. And then two weeks ago, they announced it was in London. Piers Morgan announced it. I was like, what? <laughs> Is Piers Morgan part of the judging panel? Potentially. I'm not, I don't know for sure, um, but he definitely hosted the interview and... Julia Morley shook on it, so I don't know what's going to happen, but we'll see. It's exciting, no? Yeah, it's so exciting. And no matter what happens in London, yeah, at the Miss World competition, you are going to be Miss Scotland for a year. I know, that's mental. 
That's, that's but see, I, I know quite a few Miss Scotlands. I've worked uh-huh. with quite a few over the years, and what they always say is that year just flies by. Yeah, I believe it. Like this month, I, I feel like I've blinked, you know, and we're here already. So eleven months to go, but I'm determined to make the most of it. So we'll talk more about winning Miss Scotland, how you got involved in Miss Scotland yeah. once Grado identifies who you are. Yep. Are you aware of Grado? Yeah, absolutely. So you know Grado? <laughs> yeah. So you know from like Scott Squad and he's yeah. wrestling and all that yeah. kind of thing. Uh-huh. Um, do you think that Grado will have read the newspapers, been online? Do you think he'll know who you are? I don't think he'll have a clue if I'm being honest with do you. Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> yeah. You d- is that him there yeah, in the studio standing. with us, right? He's I, I, obsessed with Grado, by the way. Oh, is he? Yeah, is he a Grado fan? Well, he's a police officer, so he, he loves watching him on Scott Squad. Right, okay, because looking at you and knowing Grado's type, you are his type. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Not sure the boyfriend wants to hear that right enough, but uh, Grado has just announced on the show last week that he is in a new relationship, so... Um, many congrats. So it's just it's, so even if you were interested, then it wouldn't be happening. That's a shame. <laughs> so what we're going to do is, Grado's outside just now in the uh-huh. office. We're going to bring him in here, blindfolded. Yeah. We're going to sit him down beside you. And Grado needs to try and identify who you are. But the first thing he's going to do is he's going to smell you to figure out whether you're <laughs> a man or a woman. I'm not wearing perfume today. So he, c- he could say you're anything. <laughs> he could say I'm anything. <laughs> right. So that's the first thing he's going to do is try and identify whether you're a male or a female uh-huh. by in, in, in the way of a smell. Okay. All right. Oh, I'm nervous. He's, he's then going to like um, touch your hands, uh-huh. um, kind of rub your hands, shake your hand, and, and 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 by doing that, he's going to try and guess how old you are. Okay. And then from there, Grade is going to ask you loads of questions. Sure. And then hopefully he will figure out who you are. If not, then he looks like a dumbass. Yeah. <laughs> right, because everybody knows who Kenan is. It's the current Miss Scotland. You only <laughs> crowned it last month. He should know. He should be on social I know, media. For God's sake! Right? I know. Ready to do this? Yeah. Do you want me to bring him in? Let's bring him in. So uh, we've now got Grado in the studio. He is blindfolded. He's ready to play Who Are You? Your track record, Grado, in this particular game in identifying our mystery guest isn't he very good, is it? How many have I got? Uh, what? We've done... This is, this is ninth. ninth. This is ninth. I think you've got two out of eight. Did I get two? That's not actually two bad, isn't it? you got Dion Robertson and... Aye. You eventually got Gun. I'll give you Gun. You got Aye. Gun. Oh, you also got Jane Park. I did. You did, so you got three out of eight. Yes. Three out of eight. And I might have given you a wee clue there. <sighs> Jane Park. I might have given you a wee clue. So now what you need to do... Jane Park's brother. <laughs> <laughs> what you need to do, there's no, There's no any noise coming anyway. No. I have no idea if this is a male, female. Smell. Lean in and give... Don't touch. Well, I've just been smoking and my... I can smell alcohol because I put it in my horns. Alcohol rub, but... Right, so uh, more to your left. Lean in, lean in. If our Mr. Guest wants to lean forward a wee bit. There's no noise coming at all. Male or female? Oh! Uh, I'm... Uh, it's got to be a woman. I can feel long hair on my side of my, my face. You're saying that a man doesn't have long hair? No, I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying odds are it's probably a woman. So what you're saying is that a man or a woman? I'm saying it's a woman. You're saying it's a woman. Would you like to touch the female's hands? Yeah, let's give her your hands. <laughs> Oh, yes, it's a girl's, <laughs> it's a girl's hands. Very, very petite. Very petite and small. <laughs> All right, nice soft hands. Usually you hear somebody, when, you, when I'm doing this, I usually hear a wee snigger mm-hmm. or a wee, but there's nothing coming. Biting, biting their tongue. Really? A bite in their tongue. Because they don't want to give any sort of clues to who they are or what they are. <laughs> so would you like to touch the hands again? Aye. So petite hands, small hands. Aye, small wee. How, how are the nails? Yeah, they've been... Uh, are they looked after? I'm not that long for a woman, I don't know. Are they looked after? Well, they feel like, I mean, she doesn't bite them for a step. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but they're no big long things. But you don't want that anyway when you're right in your arsenal. Like, <laughs> long, long thing, and it was kind of getting worse. <laughs> oh, I've got a chuckle. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to be doing that when you're when you're at the toilet. Smelling the hands. Mm, again, I can just smell the alcohol rub from my hands. I'm trying to, can you smell fags after me? No. Oh, I say, oh! Don't reckon that. Do I know this person? You, sh- you, you, sh- you should be aware of this person. Is that a famous person? Yes. 
they've, they've been in the press quite a bit over the past month. Oh. Ask, ask the mystery guest. What? You're right, it's a female. Right, you were in the it's, press. Right, and uh, how, how old? How old are you? No, how, <laughs> no, ask, no, how old do you think? Uh, <laughs> I don't think you're, I think you're about between 20 and 30. Yeah. Right. Aye, between 20 and 30. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. right, now you can ask as many questions as you want now, Grado. The Mr. Guest uh, is all yours. Do you live in Scotland? Yes. Do you live in Glasgow? No. Do you... Are you an actress? No. Are you... Uh, do you... What's your job? <laughs> <laughs> I can't say. Oh, all right. You're a wrestler? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought you might have got my wrestler or something like that. Uh, Nice. Uh, so you were in the press for something? So you've done yeah. something wrong? You've been caught doing something? <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Are you, are you a bad person? No. No. no uh, Butter wouldn't melt, mate. I'm an angel. Are you, are you, are you a chef? No. <laughs> no. I wish I was a chef. <laughs> uh, oh, what else can I ask you? So, so I'll, I'll give you another wee clue. Aye. Um, one of the clues, as I said, was Jane Park. It doesn't necessarily mean... You got, are you a model? Mm, I've dabbled. See, Ewan, what is it with you and models and strippers and everything? You're just a fucking... What are you you are, you know, not that there's anything wrong with me, but you're, you honestly, you're a fucking pervert. Yeah, I'm not saying a pervert. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, him. Sorry, him. He just honestly, he just is obsessed with, he's obsessed with strip dancers, lap dancers. He's, a, he's obsessed with Anne Summers, sex positions, Karma Sutra, all that shit. He loves it. I'm a, I, I actually a wee bit uh, affronted for him. Anyway, so right. she's got nothing to do with that. So do you get do you, do you a topless model? No. Right, uh, she's got nothing to do with what you've just um, shouted out there. Nothing whatsoever. Right. Are you a school teacher? No. <laughs> She's been in the press right, over the, the press. past month. Oh, you're an MP? No, no not right. an MP. No. Uh, not in politics. Uh, I said to you that Jane Park was a clue, but it's nothing to do with Jane Park in the sense that she has anything to do with Jane or she's connected to you. She's not. So it's the only connection between her and Jane Park that they're both women? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's where they're from. Oh, Edinburgh. Yeah. Yeah. Edinburgh. Right. Yeah. So she's from Edinburgh. Uh, I'm she's to think she's from Edinburgh. What else? What? What? I mean, Are you a comic? No, she's not a comedian. Uh, no, nah, <laughs> she's not a comedian. Uh, you were close when it came to modelling because she did say she dabbled in modelling. Dabbled in modelling. So she dabbled in modelling. Uh, but she's not a model. You're not a model. Uh, why, what, are you, why are you still holding on to her arm? I don't know. I'll just go with it. <laughs> Maybe you needed it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do you dance? Uh, I have done in the past, uh, but not mm -hmm. full time. Well, do you, I don't get what you were in the, in the papers for. Do you go? Are you go a football player or something? No. No. Do you, uh, I don't, I'm not going to know. She's a, no, I mean, you couldn't have missed her. She was everywhere. Couldn't have missed her. You, well, you big? <laughs> 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 she was all over. <laughs> she was all over social media. She was on all over the press. She's going to be representing Scotland. Oh, a football player. Oh no. Right. Very good. Girl. Representing Scotland. Eh. Uh, oh, you. F oh, so fuck. What? What? Who do you? What? Do, what do you? It's think a Scotland football player. I forget the names. Scotland football player, right? So it's a Scot. It's obviously a woman for the World Cup, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Oh, no. Is it carry something? <laughs> no. 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 Rebecca. No. Lindsay. No. Laura. No. No. Begins with Tanya. A, begins with a K. Kirsty, Kelly, Kerry, Kylie. <laughs> no. Kimberly. No. Re re replace the A. Oh, the re replace the A in Karen with an E. You know what? This is annoying because I'm going to get pulled up for. <laughs> oh, you know the men football team, but you don't know the women football team. Uh, for a start, I'm a big fan of the Scottish football. He's done well. He's done great. Uh, thank, thank you so much. He's <laughs> done really, that. really well. It's mm -hmm. just they don't tell you that you should put your first names in the back of the shirts and all. <laughs> Is it just, it's hard. <laughs> right, yeah. so what, so I'm helping. Would you play for, do you play for Edinburgh City or something like that? No. Would you, no. Do you play for Hibs or Hearts? No. Um, Rangers. Hibs. Hibs. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, what's so, say, K K so the first name. Right. Replace the E. No, sorry, replace the A 
and Karen with an E. Keris, isn't it? Keris Gilchrist or something? No. Is that it? Karen. Karen. <laughs> Karen. Karen what? Karen. Karen. Come on, it was on the back of my football strip. Karen <laughs> Patalainen. <laughs> Gredo, would you like to remove the blindfold? Oh, maybe, see, ma- maybe you'll recognise her when you see her. <laughs> aye, aye. Aye. Oh, I'm reading her name. Do you recognise her though? Uh, aye, she was brilliant. Aye, well, sent her off. <laughs> she's like goalie. No, she wasn't the goalie. Striker. No, no. Oh. No. Well, you done well. Oh, you sc- you scored you a couple so of goals, much. didn't you? Yeah. Aye. See, yeah. I know she scored a couple of goals. Did you score against? <laughs> Did you play again? Japan. Japan. You scored against Japan, didn't you? Yeah. Is that, is that your boyfriend? Yeah. How you doing, mate? What's that? Aye, aye. Uh, <laughs> I just, I ended up, I it was a good yesterday. goal, wasn't it? It was a great goal, man. Thank he did, wasn't it? Uh, no, no, no. No, no, it wasn't he did, it was free kick. No, it was a, no, it was no, a shot from outside the box. Outside, outside yeah. the box. What a goal, man. Oh, Thanks. you've done the country well and yeah, all that. Yeah, yeah, no, Aye. I'm very proud. Aye. You ever seen me wrestle? Yes. Have you? What about Um, On YouTube. Oh, you, <laughs> you never seen me live, no? No. Oh, you should come one night. I will. Aye, aye, aye. Two years come, aye. Yeah. And so, that's, you don't look like a football player. <laughs> What do football players look like? Ah, uh, just, I don't know, just... A uh, really pretty lassie, aren't you? Aren't you? <laughs> no, really? What do you do for a job? Me, I'm the police. You're a police? Aye, uh, he's the police. Boyfriend's a police. <laughs> what a cracking couple, a copper, a football player. He's, raw, he's a very, very hygienic looking, isn't he? Look at the two of them. <laughs> isn't he? Just look very clean, the two of them. Where he's, where he's going today? He's going for a wee bit of lunch or whatever. Aye. Aye, he's, where he's going to go? Don't know. Let you decide. Uh, yeah. He's got to stay in Glasgow, plenty of places. Van Winkle! <laughs> <laughs> um, Grado. Aye. <laughs> She's actually the current Miss Scotland. Oh! Fuck. <laughs> Shut up, I was thinking that. So it's not a player. <laughs> I can't even believe you fell Thank for God, that. Man. <laughs> <laughs> but you still were going, oh, you're great. You're amazing. <laughs> that was a great goal you scored. You were very <laughs> convincing. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, just actually, thinking. thank God. Thank God you're a Miss Woman. A Miss <laughs> Scotland. Oh, thank God, actually. Oh, I can tell you're a Miss Scotland. Oh, aye. Aye, aye. So, would you come in first? Yeah. Aye. She won yeah. it. This year? She's currently yeah. Miss Scotland. Oh my God. Won it last month. As of a month. Uh, That's amazing. Wait, so, where, where about does that get judged? Uh, London this year. So, no, uh, right, wait. Um, Miss the, Scotland was in Glasgow. Aye. And um, Miss Swirls in London. Man, in Second and Falls, you go. Only like 3,800. Oh, yeah. I'm She's still only like, you. I'm still a newbie. Yeah, see, no, <laughs> but I, I need I, to work on it for I, sure. Uh-huh. Thank God you're not a fat player. You just made a fucking arse to yourself <laughs> all at the I same time. I know, I know. Oh, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you played really well. You were great. I, mean, I love your faith but in me. <laughs> <laughs> you scored a great goal against Japan. <laughs> I can't even believe uh, you fell for that. I know, I can. And you played it so well, Karen. <laughs> you did, you did. Thanks. Oh, no. So she um, she represents Scotland and Miss World so, later this year. Oh, that's amazing. In, in London yeah. and um, and became Miss Scotland last year. So I just need to ask you, how did you get involved in the Miss Scotland pageant? Um, I was really random. So I first did it in 2000 and, um 16 right. but it came from a place where I just wanted to be more confident and so on and I just kind of threw myself into the competition and like by a happy mistake that I came third um, and I still kept in touch with Jan and all the girls followed the competition and thought I'll give it another go and I'm all glad right. I did so yeah I, what do you do for a job um, I so? am in like marketing and PR but uh, yeah. I'm kind of going to do I suppose like we temping jobs I think at the moment so right. I can focus on my school well you know how you can make money don't you Hi. Patch him and get in love island next year. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely plan B. <laughs> no, if he if you end up falling out with him, yeah. I'd go in love island. I think he'd be good at good at it. Mate, that's terrible me saying that. So Karen, uh, yeah. you're from Edinburgh. Uh-huh. It's a two team city. Mm-hmm. What team do you back? What team do you support? Neither. Do you, you don't? I'm a Celtic gal. Oh, no way! <laughs> <laughs> I'm you- sorry! Are you a Celtic yeah, fan? Yeah, yeah. How can a girl from Aye. Edinburgh, born and raised, be a Celtic fan? My dad um, brought us up as all Celtic fans. Oh. O- on the rest of my family are Hibs. Um, 
<laughs> it's even worse. My dad, um, yeah, he's mad on Celtic. So, yeah. what about you, big man? Who do you support? I'm a Celtic boy. Oh. <laughs> this is going swimmingly well. <laughs> yeah, Celtic fan. You don't right. like her now, do you? <laughs> You're when, an angel. When they go, <laughs> <laughs> when they're leaving, get them out of here. Oh, I can't oh. believe I thought that. <sighs> so we're an Edinburgh girl who supports Celtic. <laughs> And all the family supports Hibs. Just when you think it couldn't get any worse, you're going to tell me you love the Proclaimers. I do! I oh, do. no! <laughs> um, um, honestly, I wanted to go so much on that Saturday at the Edinburgh Castle. Yes. He went. He yeah. had the time of his life. Yeah. Oh, do you like Look Proclaimers? Aye. Yeah, yeah. I'm liking two songs. Which one do you know? Uh, da, da, da. And uh, I'm going to write you a letter to America. What about Sunshine on Leaf? I don't know. I don't really know. That's the one they play at the end when Hibs win, isn't it? What about the one from Shrek? No, I don't know that. I'm on my way. Tim is the day, the happiness. It's probably one of the gigs you would go to and you'd go, fuck, I can't these songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a good time. Um, Karen, you are the current Miss Scotland. You will be representing Scotland at the Miss World pageant. Yeah. Um, that Piers Morgan would appear as though he's uh, involved in. Oh. Piers Morgan involved as well. Right, he <laughs> made the announcement it's going to be in London and all that. Yeah. So Is I think he's involved in some capacity. Do you like Piers Morgan? He's all right. Like, he has his pros and cons. Like. Be, be very diplomatic in case he's there. Yeah. <laughs> Just say you like him. He's controversial. Uh, yes. Do you like him, Grado? I mean, I don't agree with him tapping into folks' phones. Mm-hmm. Dead people's phones. Mm-hmm. But I like the way that he's quite honest on GMTV. I'd like to see you interview him. That'd be quite good. You and you and Piers Morgan. That would, would be quite... interesting. Us across from the desk from each other. <laughs> Aye. Maybe one day, Grado. One day, Karen. It's been an absolute pleasure meeting you. Thank you. Thank Aye. you for coming in and playing along and making <laughs> Grado look like an absolute fud. <laughs> Sensational. By the way, I'm just honoured he thought I was a football player. Uh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, see how is there any other woman Scottish woman ever won Miss World? No. 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 Actually, right. Jennifer Reuk. She came like sixth or something. She's she she seven. She she on STV? She yeah. was, aye. Oh, she is on STV. Right, you could be a presenter easy. You've got the <laughs> charisma go. on that show. Aye. Charisma, aren't you? Aye. Mate, that just to remind you, her boyfriend is here. Oh. Stop the chatting up. <laughs> <laughs> and he's a cop. It's hey. all right. I'm already going on Love Island. Yeah. <laughs> aye, aye. Aye, aye. Aye. I'll play a postman in the telly. Aye, he loves it. He loves it. <laughs> <laughs> Karen, thanks for coming in. Thank aye. you so Cheers much for having me. Thank you, thank you. The Transfer Window, presented by Velux. Claim £150 of rewards for every multi-room window bundle you buy this July and August. See velux.co.uk slash rewards. T's and C's apply. It's now time to look at what's going on in the world of transfers and transfer gossip with Velux Windows. And there's a lot going on with the the transfer window slamming shut when, Grado? Uh, (laughs) Er... 30 of, no, 30, 30 of August? No, no, is it? no that's Europe. The, oh. UK, the UK ends earlier. Uh, it ends on the 25th. Oh, is Scotland at the end of August? Yeah. It's, so that's England, what I meant. Oh, right. Well, uh, there you go. For the first time, Grado, for the first time, you've corrected me. Mm-hmm. I've been wrong for the first time on this Football Daft podcast. No, it's not the first time, mate. Trust me. Uh, it's no. <laughs> yeah, it is. So um, the, the transfer window in Scotland is open until the end of August. It's the Premiership that closes in the first week or two of uh, the, the season. Aye. So let's have a look at what's making the news just now. Kieran Tierney, we talk about this every single week, and I genuinely thought a couple of weeks ago that he would already be at Arsenal. He'd have had the scarf above his head with the Arsenal jersey on at the Emirates. It's no happen. It's no happen. They've pulled it, haven't they? And, the rumour is, the story is, that Arsenal have pulled out, and not only have Arsenal pulled out, Napoli have pulled out as well. Now, Celtic have already went to spend, what, £3 million on another left-back. They haven't spent £3 million on another left-back for him to sit on the bench. So I still think that they believe he might end up going, or they've already put their eggs into one basket Aye. by playing hardball with Arsenal. They're going to get their money, and they've got a left-back replacement. <laughs> so now they're stuck... Uh, I seen there was some some of the fans were chatting for uh, this new left back. Did you see that? No, I did see that. Yeah, <laughs> there was, uh, he's better than Tierney anyway or something. Yeah, that was but he did cause some goal in Europe at Parkhead. The left back, he made a mistake. Oh, did he? He made a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> so Kieran Tierney could be staying, but um, he is a cracking fullback. So it might be mind games with Arsenal. 
Um, who knows? But um, we'll keep an eye on that one. Um, also, Celtic are in the transfer news because they've, uh, they've signed Israeli right back Hatem Abed El Hamid mm -hmm. from Hapwell Beersheba uh, for a fee believed to be in the region of 1.6 million. Uh, the deal may well be completed by the time this episode airs. I think that will go through. Um, there was rumours that Stephen O'Donnell might have turned up at Celtic Park, but um, that might not be happening if they're getting the boy in from Hapwell um, Beersheba. And uh, what else is happening in the world of uh, transfer news? What about Rangers? Uh, about your team? Kindias is away. Uh, sad? I'm a wee bit disappointed. I'm not disappointed. I'm just sad because I felt Kindias uh, ran himself into the ground every game. Never did he ever at all give any less than 100%. All right. He liked Some quality. Games, he liked a bit of quality. And if we want to win the title, then we're probably going to need to do better than Kindias. Um, sad to see him go. Well, I'm worried about because he was fucking Morelos. He's mucker. Yeah. He's translator. I'm just hoping Morelos. He said, "There's no go down." Or did as Kindes away because he knows Morelos yeah. is gone. Who knows? Who knows? Mark Allen the other day there was interest in what he was saying. He hasn't ruled out Morelos leaving. Do you know what I mean? In in the sense that they haven't had a bid, but. He kind of hinted that he wouldn't be surprised if a bid came in for him. Right, so well, they need to say what they're doing. West Ham are interested. Crystal Palace are interested. Right. Nice are interested in Ligue 1 right. in France. Well, so they need to decide soon. with us because we've not got the time. Also, Tavernier at Newcastle. That story will not go away. Mm, I've got a feeling. I've got a bad feeling Tav's gone. Just because we spoke to somebody early in the year and everything that he told us has basically come, come true. And the, 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 the money being spoke about Tav to Newcastle is the same money, eight million. So I think that's a price tag on Tav. I think he could be off, which would be that would be um, would that be a blow. That would be a blow for us. I know we've got the poster. I've not seen much a poster. But, the, the Yank um, because Stevie Bruce is apparently looking at playing a three-five-two formation with wing backs, and Tavernier would fit into that. I which can't is, believe Steve Bruce is Newcastle manager. I know, but anyway, he yeah. likes he, he wants attacking fullbacks, and Tavernier is, a, has, is, a, is a great attacking I, fullback. He's a modern day yeah. Um, also in uh, the transfer news and a bits of gossip, um, Stevie may be heading for a return to St. Johnson. They need it. I mean, they've been shocking in the League Cup. Uh, Stevie May not wanted at Aberdeen anymore. It looks like St. Johnson are in the running for him. Dundee, come on at Ross County, St. Mirren, and Dundee United are all apparently interested in Stevie May. Where he'll end up, we'll find out pretty soon. Uh, now let's talk European football. Gareth Bale, apparently away from Real Madrid, could be heading to China a million pounds a week oh, tax free. Fuck. A million pounds a, a week tax pound. free to China. That is crazy. That's because it? Zinedine Zidane doesn't want Gareth Bale. But uh, he did come on and play against Arsenal. He scored a goal and he missed a penalty. But he did play particularly well in the second half. So will Z Zinedine Zidane have a change of heart? Yeah. Who knows? But he might be on his way I if out. Bale should maybe speak to somebody like, uh, what do you call him that went to China? No? The Hibs player, played with Celtic. What's his name? Derek Riordan. I wonder if he's maybe went and spoke to him for some advice. That's your transfer news and gossip. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks to our transfer window sponsors, Velux, who have just launched their brand new multi-roof window bundles for loft and extension projects. Get three roof windows plus flashings and installation products, all with one order code and one delivery. Perfect for a bit of summer home improvement. It's one order code, it's two days delivery and it's three times the daylight. I'm telling you, that is a hat trick. It is a hat trick. And for July and August only, you can claim £150 rewards for every multi-roof bundle you buy. So you can claim rewards with big brand partners like Argos, <laughs> M&S, Tesco and Curry's PC World. Oh. And once you have your invoice, just visit vlux.co.uk forward slash rewards sign up for a rewards account and follow the instructions it's that simple once your account is approved your rewards will be topped up right, then you can claim the vlux rewards all year round on vlux roof windies flat roof windies and sun tunnels that is the deal it? <laughs> visit vlux.co.uk forward slash rewards for full terms and conditions in the studio with us today is a woman who is involved in what I would describe as the football Bible. And I remember when I worked in football through the noughties that I had this little book with me every single day of the football season. It's the We Red Book 
from the Evening Times, and Jackie Brogan is in the studio with us today. Hello, Jackie. Hi, thanks for having me, guys. I love the wee red book. Right. I, there, there's rumours going about this hasn't even been printed again. Well, I think that's the problem. A lot of people have said to me, oh, do you still print the wee red books? So that's one of the reasons why I wanted to come on and have a quick chat, just to remind the football fans out there that, yeah, we do still do it. Right. Uh, last year, we celebrated our 90th anniversary. So, you know, hopefully we can keep going and get to 100. So for the younger listeners out there who yeah. might not be aware of what the wee red book is, as you say, it celebrated its 90th anniversary last year, which is staggering. Um, what is the wee red book? It's essentially, it's it's the Bible of Scottish football. I mean, every year we update it for the season. So it's a, it's a record of everything that's happened in that season, all the results, all the League Cups. Uh, all the awards that have been given out. But we cover not just Scottish football, English football, junior football, women's football. So it kind of covers everything. We also kind of pay homage to, you know, we've we've lost some great football and great players mm -hmm. this season. All so right. we always pay homage to them as well. So it's a, it's a story of the season, but it's also a history of Scottish football. You want to know, you know, how many caps a player has got. It's got every cap that a Scotland player's got, all the Scotland results. Every every result. Every, every, every result. Every, we've played yeah, against uh -huh. every country on yeah, the planet. Yeah. Every time we've uh -huh. played them. Every time we play them, every result, every cap that every Scotland player's had. So it's everything you need to know. It's got all the dates for next season, all the league gate dates. Do, do, do you know what's jumping out to me? Looking at all the kind of uh, the, the teams in the lower divisions, uh -huh. all their uh, record attendances, the most of them are Rangers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's obviously because we went doing a couple of leagues, but uh, oh well, there was one. Arbroath's <laughs> biggest attendance was thirteen thousand five hundred and ten versus Rangers in nineteen fifty two. That's mad, isn't it? You're going to like this book, aren't you? I know. See, see, if, see if, if I had this when I was away, because I don't, I don't know, because the evening times in Ayrshire's no big. Well, it's no. I don't think it's as big as it's a it was Glasgow paper. Yeah. Did yeah. you get it? And we had the, the Evening News. Yeah. Right, we have the that, Evening News in Edinburgh. Is that the same mob, basically? That no, no, no. It's, it's different. But we are the Evening News and it's Evening Times in Glasgow. Aye, as I say, I'd, I'd have loved this staying at my grand's every weekend and looking through all this stuff and all the stats and everything. Aye, aye, it's amazing. Aye, you're, you're already engrossed in that no, wee red book. I'm <laughs> alright, I'm alright. It's, it's cool. Oh, Rafe Rovers. Uh, the red, red. Oh, hey, their record attendance was against guess who? Rangers. Hearts. <laughs> 1953. Why was it that uh, 50 years ago the, the crowds were as big as that compared to now? Why do you think that is? It's because of the standing, wasn't it? Right. They didn't have all seated stadiums, mm -hmm. so this, you could fit more, more of a crowd in. Do you, do you think if they had standing, it would make a different spot? Because, I mean, some of these attendances that you see in, in the back games, in the day. Aye. Yeah. Aye. Yeah, and then okay. you look at it today, it's a couple of hundred yeah. here, 2,000 here, 1,000 here. Yeah. Okay. Do you know who won the first league? Uh, the first, as in, like... First league title. I bet you that was something like Queen's Park, no? Was it? No. Third Lanark. Oh, no. was it? No. no. Was no. it not? No. They did win it. They did win it, yeah. Right. Eventually, they did win it. Can you use uh, a clue? Uh, well, you should know one of them. It was shared. Oh. It was a shared title. Was it Rangers and... Uh-huh. Rangers and... <laughs> Rangers and what year? Uh -huh. what, what, what year would well, that have like been then? Late eighteen hundreds, I think. Like, well. Rangers and uh -huh. do you know it? Producer you, Gaddy's you know nodding his head. Yep. Oh, yeah. that rings a bell. That rings a bell. Well done, Gary. Well done, Gary. Well done, Gary. Well done. Oh, he's looking at the red book. <laughs> he's looking at the wee red he's a book. Cheat. <laughs> <laughs> Here's another trivia one. Right, for right, you. This is good. Which team was the first team to win three league cups? Three, three league cups. Kilmarnock. Nope. Queen's uh, Park. Nope. Dunfermline. Nope. Rafe Rovers. Clyde Bank. Aberdeen. Third Lanark. Nope. Everton Meadow. Nope. Hearts. Darvo. Hibs. Nope. Wraith Rovers. Rangers Reserves. <laughs> Celtic. Dundee United. We could be here for a while. Dundee right. Hamilton. Nope. 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 So what do you mean as in like the as in like the CIS Cup, the League Cup? Aye, the League they, they won it three so times. Won it three times. They won it three the first uh, club to so win it three times. times. Well it's somebody that you are know they, are, thinking are, are they in the league now? They're not in the top league. No, but they're they're, they're in, in, the they're league, in yeah. Scottish uh -huh. football, yeah. so they're they're there. There's about um, it's not it's not uh, Albion Rovers. No, Arbroath. No, Air United. Elgin City. Um, you're going no. through the wee read book. Nah, right yeah. I'm not, not going to. Let us know. Give us a clue. Um, north, south, middle. North. 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 North east. Northeast. 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 Not, too, not too far. One's east again. East up by uh, Aberdeen uh, side, down that not side. Not as far up as that. Not as far up. No. St. Johnson. 
Oh, that was a good close, shout. Oh, that was a good shout. Close to St Johnston. Who else is yeah. up that way? I kind of think. you got Dundee on that side. you got Aberdeen, five. St Johnston. He's yeah. five. Yeah. Yeah. Was it East Fife? East Fife. Was it East Fife? East Fife. East Fife were the first yeah. club to win three. Oh, really All right. So I need to ask you, because we ask everyone who appears on the Football Daft podcast, Jackie, what team do you support? I support Rangers. You're a Rangers? Are you a season ticket holder? I am, yeah. Oh, I, and how long have you been a season ticket holder? Um, just a few years. What are you at? Uh, Govan Front. Brilliant, that's where my first season ticket was, Govan mm-hmm. Front. And what do you think, under Steven Gerrard, you're going to do this year? I think we'll do pretty well. I'm quite confident. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think, I know the big argument last season was, has he had a good season? Um, and obviously we didn't win any trophies. But if you look at the bigger picture of it, you know, he's a rookie manager. And, he, and a lot of people said to me, oh, he won't last. He'll last mm-hmm. a few months and he'll be out, out the door. You know he doesn't because you know it's very difficult to 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 come in and manage the old firm because it is it's 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 not an easy job, um, but I think he's done a good job. I think he's made some mistakes, but he's going to make mistakes. But if you look at the old firm games, I think Rangers were by far the better team yeah. in most of the old firm games. So how can you say Rangers haven't improved? If Rangers hadn't improved, they'd maybe get a one-off result, but it wasn't a one-off result. So you so what you recognised in the Rangers' performance, particularly against Celtic, was there was a consistency. They yeah. just need to tighten up. We dropped silly points. Mm-hmm. We dropped, right. and I think that the the winter break came to oh, a the bad worst time, for, time us. for us. It totally destroyed Aye. us because I think if we hadn't had that winter break, it could have been maybe a different story or certainly a closer race. Because after that, because we were on, you know, we played well against Celtic, and then that was it. Mm-hmm. No games for three weeks, and then we went to come on. Rob- Robbie Park, you know, that and was, that, that was that. Right. So even even when the first ten minutes, I think Devo scored, and I thought, right, we're doing this. Uh-huh. And then, as we always say, the big man. <laughs> He's Mr. the call him? <laughs> Mr. Warrell. Yeah, Mr. Warrell. <laughs> Your friend. Yes, ex-friend, <laughs> probably. The one that you wanted to watch. <laughs> uh, get me well, a want, famous bird. Well, you've got a girlfriend now. <laughs> I've, I've got a girlfriend now, aye. I've got a girlfriend now. So, um, with the wee red book out, um, which is great, and we've got a couple here in the, uh, the studio with us, I'm now going to ask you guys to predict the top four in the Scottish Premiership, and then who will be relegated from the Premiership? Because the season's only a couple of weeks away. Mm. So let's start with fourth in the Scottish Premiership and work our way up to who will win it ultimately. Right, well, let me think about this. Uh, this, is, this is a good question. I tend to, I don't never like guessing these things because we've not kicked the ball yet. The, the season's not started. And all the transfers aren't finished yet either because the transfer window's still Even open. Then, you kind of need, I think, first quarter of the season out Aye. the way. To yeah, see. no, but, but I, I but know what you're saying. I agree with you, but as it stands right now, the way that the season ended, the way things are shaping up in regards to the transfers that have happened, Grado and Jackie, right. let's go with the top four in the Premiership. Mm-hmm. Who is going to be finishing fourth? I think... Mm-hmm. I'm going to go for... Let's say, I mean, I'm going to say that there's. Do we involve Kelly here? I mean, we can't take no. it. You don't. You think they're oh, going to struggle this year? I think they might struggle. Well, the start that result through the week was interesting. Uh, but the, you, you're, Will uh, they get a, a bounce a, back from it? How Kelly fans are saying that the body language has totally changed. Yeah. There's there might be unrest in the dressing room already. So, but I don't think it's going to. I think they'll still have a. Depends how Hearts and Hibs do this mm. season. Aye. Because I would put them up there. Right, I'm going to go... But f- I'll go with Aberdeen. You're going to Aberdeen yeah. fourth. fourth. I'm going to go for Aberdeen Just fourth. Just to annoy the Aberdeen fans. <laughs> 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 right, so now you can't annoy them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now curious to know who you think will finish third in the Premiership then. If Aberdeen are finishing fourth, who's finishing third? I'll go for Hearts. I'll go for... I'll go for... I'll go for Hibs. See... I'm not saying this to, to suck up with the Aberdeen fans after upsetting them over the last couple of weeks, but I think Aberdeen will finish ahead of Hearts this year. Yeah, yeah. I think Hearts have still got problems. I still don't think Craig Levine's the right man to take Hearts forward. So I think we'll be top six, but I don't think we'll be challenging top four. So I think Aberdeen will be your third best team in Scotland this mm-hmm. year. That's what I think. Uh, before we get to your first and second, who will be relegated? St Mirren. No hesitation no. there. Uh, actually, I'm going to go for St. Mirren as well, just because no, I can't do it. I'm telling you yeah. now, every year Hamilton dodge a bullet. Yeah, they do every, every year. year. Right? They yeah. I just, I think this will be the year that Hamilton ultimately will go down. I think it's between Hamilton yeah. and St. Mirren, and I think St. Mirren, if they don't fall out, they'll go into the playoffs. 
Um, I think Livingston will be there or there's abouts as well. Yeah. But um, yeah, I, I, I'm going with um, Hamilton. will finally bite the bullet. So, um, so you've gone for your fourth, third, and who will be relegated? Who's winning the titles? Clearly between Celtic and Rangers. Who is winning the title? Now, I've already gone on record and said I think Rangers will win the title this year because mm-hmm. if they don't win it this year, Celtic will win 10 in a row. So they'll throw everything at it this year to win the league. So that's why I think they'll win the league. As a Rangers fan, I've got to go with Rangers. I've got to go with Rangers as well. But you don't have to. Well, no, no but if I genuinely didn't think we had a chance, Keep I wouldn't believing. say it. Keep I wouldn't say believing. it. So you're both going with Rangers? Yeah. Aye, I'm so going to go for Rangers. So it's a Rangers full house here at Football Daft. Well, according to you, Neil Lennon will be out of a job by Christmas, so I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to get me in even more trouble? That, that oh, kind of died no, away last That has said. not died away. <laughs> I, I still get reminded of me saying that. I've got some chatty bets as well that I could end up losing if he's still there on Christmas Day. I nearly choked on my chicken when I heard that on the radio. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Jackie Brogan, it's been an absolute pleasure meeting you. Um, Thank you for the wee red book with the evening times. That's brilliant. I'm delighted Um, for us. It's the football annual. It's the football bible for Scottish football. It's priced at £3.50, available at all retail shops, and you can get it online with free delivery as well. Thank you for these. I'm, I'm 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 delighted with us, honestly. I'm a Your dad will might remember it. Aye. You know. I he think. well, my dad can't read. There's nice, there's pretty <laughs> pictures <laughs> in it. <laughs> Jackie, thanks for coming in. Thank, Thank you, you, Jackie. Cheers. That's what I'm delighted with it. It's the Football Daft Podcast with Ewan and Grado, and we do love when the fans get involved with the show, and it is about the fans, if truth be told, Grado. This guy isn't a fan, this guy's a star. <laughs> <laughs> He's one of Kilmarnock's, actually, he is Kilmarnock's most famous fan. Yes. He has had hundreds of thousands of views of his rants about Kilmarnock over the years. He makes newspaper headlines. He upsets managers. He upsets players. I thought I was a guy that upset people, but I don't upset people the way this guy upsets people. We're delighted to have on the Football Daft Podcast. And a fellow top ender. And a fellow top ender for Stevenson. Correct. It's only Gordon Sawyer. Yeah, yeah that's a- Yes. What are you saying to you, Gordon, my man? Yeah, I've not got a lot on my mind at the moment. Yeah. Disappointed getting out of Europe. Very disappointed. I'm actually over. I just can't believe so it. So, what's the deal then with, with your flights and you are meant, you're meant to be going to the next round of it? Have you managed well, to sort that out? Are you gone? He's going to support that Welsh team? Or? No, no, no. No gone. Just end off. <laughs> not going. <laughs> so I'll tell you a better one than that. See what we do to Wales last Thursday, man. Aye. Fucking 450 quid I done, man. Oh, yeah. That's... Do, do, is that crazy fu- the game. Crazy. Is that... Um, is that what you, I seen you were making a, a piece for the road doing and all that. Did you, is that what you done? I now? think that was about 200 quid worth. Did you fucking see the size of it? <laughs> Holy fuck. My boys can eat what fuck. <laughs> Are you a big eater, Gordon? Quite big, I'm 13 stone. Get oh, there, right? That's not wow. high. Uh, yeah, that's well, not well, Grado's been sat here eating a, a sausage pot. A sausage sausage stroganoff. Stroganoff and, a, and, a, and an egg. Sausage stroganoff? What the fuck's a stroganoff? Uh, it's actually. <laughs> What's a stroganoff? You never had a stroganoff before, Gordon? I bet. What the fuck are we do? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think a stroganoff is, Gordon? Fuck, no, it's a Welsh thing. <laughs> 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 well, did you know? Tell me before you come on there, you were eating toasted cheese. I'm that, fucking still going. To I, that, <laughs> what is that? See, that's that's we call that's we call Welsh Welsh rarebit. That's, that's what. A, he, this is a HF toasted cheese with pepper special. <laughs> that's a house fun. That's that's part. That's part. That's part gang up there. HF house well, fun. I think we should point out here that Gordon Sawyer's is in his house. Aye. In, I'm not in, in my house. Aye. In, in, in Stevenson. And, no, um, no. Oh, he's staying so close. Ah, he's staying so close. Oh, yes. are you? Sorry, sorry. He originally hails for the top end right. of Stevenson. So we should point that out for those of you listening and not watching the show is that Gordon Sawyer's is in Salt Coast. It's Sawyer's. I've no Y in my son name. It's S A W E R S, spelt Sawyer's. Ah, so it's Sawyer's. Aye. Right, so <laughs> I'll start again. We've got Gordon Sawyer's. He's in Salt Coast. Oh, Sawyer's, that fucking sounds much better than so. <laughs> <laughs> and he's on FaceTime so we can see him and he can see us. 
but you can hear him. So, Aye. and he's just showed us some cheesy sandwich thing. It looked bogging. No, oh, that's all right. It looked uh, bogging. That, that cheese toasty thing looked bogging, Gordon. Cheese toasty, toasted cheese. There's a difference. A cheese, a cheese toasty is a brevo. Aye, but is that all you've got? You've not got a toast in oh, your mouth? To oh, toast and cheese with pepper. Just uh, like cheese and put it in the grill. Uh, and you're sporty. But it is kind of boggling. That's how I've left it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, Gordon, tell me about this new manager. No, no see, before we get, no, see, before we get to Kilmarnock. What? Right, and, and about the problems there, because there appear to be some problems after getting knocked out of Europe by a part-time team for Wales. Right, you, remind you, me again. <laughs> so you, you two are for Stevenson. Did you know each other from Stevenson? Did my brother know what were you? My yes, brother, your, joke, brother you know? was, your brother was at school with me, Greg. Aye, he says that you were a tremendous football player. I don't know about tremendous football player, but some people have said I was all right. Aye, I in fact, I mean, a few folk have said that you, when you were, you were young, you were a really good football player. You could, uh, you kicked the ball anyway. Aye. What happened? Too many toasties. Balls. Too many toasties. <laughs> But, uh, <laughs> I did like it, but I went down the rank path. Aye. You know what I mean? Aye. Well, mate, fucking... I was dedicated enough. Aye. Well, but you know what? You're, you're enjoying yourself now. You, your, your passion is going to watch the killie. I love watching your videos. I love your enthusiasm that you've that you've got for it. But what? Well, oh, there's my mother walked in. I oh, get her, get her on. <laughs> get her oh, on. Come on, on and say hello. <laughs> come on and say hello. <laughs> Who's, what's your mum's name? Celia Ewan. <laughs> Let's see. Hey, yeah. How are you doing, Shilya? Hey, Shilya, how are you? How are you doing, you doing? You alright, hen? I'm fine. Aye, what are you up to today? What did you have for your breakfast this morning? It's my day. Uh, bile egg and toast. Oh, I like a bile egg. <laughs> yeah, do you do you call egg mayonnaise eggy ming? No. Am I the only... No. no. no I eggy like ming? You haven't heard of eggy ming, more. I, 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 I don't like mayonnaise. That's, I said oh, that's, how you, that's how you get it after then, isn't it, Gordon? You don't, get, you don't like the mayonnaise. That's that, my man. That's how I get it, mate. Right, I'm away. Take care. Right, cut. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> What's happened there, Spodge? Right, there we go. I so, what were you saying? You so, Gordon... Busby tried to phone, I had to click him off. That's if there was a pause there, guy. All right. Well. Um, Gordon, does your mum support Kilmarnock? No. <laughs> Mum, who do you support? <laughs> she supports a cell <laughs> on her legs. <laughs> how, did you, how, how did you become a, a, a Kelly fan? Was all your pals Rangers fans? How did that come about? Is there a... Well, great, well, that that is right. Most of my friends were Rangers fans, yes. Mm -hmm. Um, I grew up and I was uh, playing football Aye. as a youngster. For primary school, all the way up. Our famous trip in America. I'm sure you've heard of that, Greg Henry. I went to America. That's I Greg did tell us about that. Aye, aye. Oh, what a, what a holiday that was. Aye. Amazing. Aye. Yeah. But following command, it was. Uh, Craig Hamilton, actually. I went there with my first game. Hammy for Stevenson. Right, aye, aye, aye. He took us up to, it was Meadowbank. Livingston. You know that stadium, Gredo, no? Meadowbank you Stadium, uh, was that, aye. Was that yeah. Livingston? Yeah, no. it's not Edinburgh. Aye. Yeah, Meadowbank. That was my first game. I, mean, I think it was 1992. And it was nil Nietzsche in the midweek. So then I started going. Then I was at Comarnock when I was 15. Ah, so you played with Comarnock as a boy? Well, I was trying to get a contract, but I right. got bumped. Mm -hmm. I got told my attitude wasn't good enough. Mm -hmm. I was first, first in for training, last, last do it, first in, last do it. Didn't want to do extras. Fuck all. My attitude was fucking crap. End right. of crap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry. I it there, sorry. Yeah, my head's fucking melted no, already. No, 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 it's all right. no, sorry. This is good to hear that, because a lot of folk won't well, know this. I mean, I, I've, I've heard this, but it's, it's it's good for every cunt to hear. But what I want to know is, what I, I noticed you posted on Facebook the other day. Obviously, Kelly last last season had a great season under Stevie Clark, had a great run, had, yep. had a, a couple of uh, great results. You were saying last week that you can notice a difference in body language with some of the players. Yes. What, what, tell me, what do, you, what do you think's up? Do you think he's this new manager's rubbed the rubbed some of the players the wrong way? What's what's the deal here? What you what you got for us? Well, just see, see when I see his post match uh, interviews, it doesn't see. I seen the one with Kurt Broadfoot just before we played that mob on uh, Thursday night there, mm -hmm. and it they just the sign language you can get it. Then I watched them come onto the training pitch. There's big Alec Dyer, dropped right to the coach. And he was assistant to Steve Clark, and he still is part time with Scotland. Mm -hmm. The big guy knows all the players inside out, but this fucking Angelo character's come in. <laughs> well, he's fucking sports scientist. Yep. He's put the other sports scientist on fucking gardening leave. Oh. But just fucking out of order, and I'm not happy with it. 
God. So, so what's your message to the manager then, Gordon? What do you want to say to him? I don't want to say it with the radio, mate, because... You can't. It can't, it can't be that bad. It can't be that... I mean, you remember this? It's one... It can't be that bad, Gordon. We're just doing a Europe for real part-timers. There was five of the guys. You know something? They've been doing in the bus after the game on Thursday, and they started their fucking work on the Friday. F- five. Half of their team. Mm-hmm. Mm. No, it's it, it kind of... It pains me to see, but... Half of their team are doing that five-hour journey after the game on Thursday, and starting an 8 o'clock shift to five on a fucking Friday. <laughs> <laughs> and these cunts are going to get their breakfast made and everything. I know. For nothing. No. They're doing single shifts. They should be doing double shifts. Aye. It certainly was a short result. It kind of reminds me of your result when we when Rangers played in Luxembourg two years ago. Do you think you and this could be a kind of similar type of type of story? The kind of Kachinia at Rangers. Would you? No, this is worse. No, this is worse. Is this worse? I thought, I thought but this cunt was the fucking. Manager. Well, hold on. This cunt was the fucking um, assistant manager at Chelsea. One point was he no? He was assistant to Inter Milan. Aye. 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 So at least nobody knew who Kachinia was. That's probably a bad comparison. Actually, forget about that. <laughs> I think I'm talking Gredo, shit. <laughs> Gredo, you and see the thing I don't get. They say, they say there were 60 applicants for this job and Steve Clark appointed Scotland manager. 60 applicants, which is meant to have dwindled down to six. I would love to know who the six shortlisted guys were and who the five got dumped for this guy. Because this guy needs an interpreter. I wouldn't like to get in the changing room try to get G'd up for him. Because he'd take about 10 minutes to say two sentences. <laughs> no, I mean, how is he meant to G a team up? Mm, aye. It's you... unbelievable. What about bringing back Jig, Lee McCulloch? No. <laughs> Plain and simple, no. Who, be, who, be, who would you want? Uh, who, who did you want as a killer manager when, when, when Stevie Clark left? I want somebody to be experienced in the Scottish game who's got... Well, I know who I really, really wanted. to pick Terry Butcher. I think so, aye. I want to big Terry Butcher in. He's a man with discipline. He's got a big presence about him. Players will fucking have the eyes on him. They'll not be fucking saying anything to him anyway. Aye. Uh, he's just that big kind of guy I would love at rugby park. Maybe this guy's going to prove me wrong. Thousands of people have proved me wrong. Mm. But I don't think so. It's going to be a long season. If we finish the top six, we'll be doing all right. We've only made two signings, Gray, though. Aye. Two signings since last year. Do you, do you, you know what? I've seen a lot of people on the internet that are kind of rubbing the, rubbing the the Kelly fans' noses in it reg, with regards to cutting the allocation to the the old firm. Yeah, that now, the Chadwick stand. Uh, the old firm's only meant to be getting four thousand. Well, that's. I'm really, really surprised that. And but do you know what? I'm actually quite gutted because Kelly away is one of my favourite games, and it's not just because of the pies, but the atmosphere. Is, <laughs> I, I, and I, I love the atmosphere when we go to rugby park. And when they announced that they were going to cut the allocation, I thought, hmm, I don't know about this. And especially with this dodgy result, I'm just, I mean, obviously you want to see other, you want the Scottish game to do well. You want as many punters going to the game as possible. But I've got a fear if the, if the game, if the, if the season doesn't start too well for Kelly, some of the fans might dwindle away. What do you think about that? Well, there was eight, eight and a half thousand there the other, the other night there. Well, that's a, and that's the kind of crowds we're wanting every aye. week. And we should be getting that every week. But see, after that result on Thursday, as you're right, they're going to dwindle away. Right. We'll be back. We'll be back to four thousand. Mm-hmm. See, see uh, that, Gordon. Say, Gordon, see that result. You? Gordon, see that result that you had the other night there. Yeah. Can you put into words what that felt like when you were stood there watching that game? Just devastation, Aye. humiliation. I mean, you know the the, the, the video of you. Uh, <laughs> You're watching the game on Facebook Live, and I don't want to take the piss, but I mean the, the footage is caught. Cool. I know you, you might uh, mind wind you up, but when you are filming the, the 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 penalty and it goes <laughs> in, and you what is it you say? I'm fucking booked up for fucking. Where is it you were meant to be going? Belgrade. I'm Belgrade. fucking booked up for Belgrade. I mean that went viral right away. See when that happens to you, how do you feel? Are you pissed off that folk are like taking the piss, or are you like fuck it? Because, I mean, that, I think, to me, God, it's fucking, it's like, total entertainment. Fuck them. Exactly. Fuck the haters. Exactly, exactly. And Everybody's I f- got an opinion, you know what I mean? Everybody has an opinion. 